I am a faculty in Biomedical Engineering Department, Institute of Technology, Madras, India. Today, I just want to present here the issues about the infrared imaging, which is one of the most deserted uh, imaging modality by the imaging community. It's uh, you know most effective, versatile. So, to, uh, in in short, no, this uh, uh, infrared is a, essentially is a very good source. Human human body is an infrared source. And this method is convenient because the infrared source wavelength is in the range of uh, you know 9.5 to 10, which is easily available. In this, what they do is that the temperature variations on the skins are converted into electrical signals and are presented as an image. It's a very simple method, but effective. But uh, FDA has approved this method as adjunct to diagnostic procedure for mass screening of uh, this thing. Our objective in this lab is to port device a portable medical thermography system which could be used for mass screening of uh, breast cancer across this thing. So if you, there are two fundamentally two issues here. One is uh, the technology of infrared detector. And we had to come out with a mathematical model which can convert a very small change in uh, surface temperature, body temperature into observable clinical, observable um, uh, parameter for clinical these things. So there are uh, two options here. One is thermal detector or a photo detector. Normally used is a thermal detector, micro bolo detector. They don't need, uh, you know, cooling. You can do it. Wherever uh, this thing is uh, uh, given here, uh, a simple uh, method with which one can use. Some of the issues here is uh, identifying uh, appropriate uh, detecting material and how to convert that using a readout circuit to essential information. On mathematical model part, there are uh, no such models available here which can exactly you know, simulate your or uh, uh, convert your uh, observable change in temperature into a, a measurable device. So there are uh, other effects which are not being considered into models just like uh, uh, the ambience and atmospheres. There are a lot of scope for uh, innovation here. So you had to come out with this. This is what we are uh, trying now. Actually, it's a very simple camera. <coughs> so we tried uh, uh, analyzing the corroded arteries on the face and then hand. This is the commercially available, approved by FDA, but still uh, the, the sensitivity of the system, existing commercial systems are very less, cannot be used for mass screening. That's our objective here. My objective is to develop those two things. I'm looking for some <coughs> you know, collaboration wherein we can work on processing of images, acquisition of images, defining protocols. I will list it out like here. So all the our wish list is to develop of techniques and automated algorithm or the analysis of thermograms to exactly to extract meaningful information for the clinical use the most important thing and then model based estimation of very small change in temperature due to physiological and pathological changes incorporating artifacts and environmental effects so most of the environmental effects are not being considered in the current commercially available systems so the third one is the calibration validation of development method and algorithm with other methods so no such protocol or standards are of course now available so that we need to have come out with, uh, you know, with the protocols and standards with, to analyze better the thermograms. This is my uh, this thing. You can contact me in this address. This is in the Biomedical Engineering Group, Department of Applied Mechanics, Chennai, India. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so,